My name is Dr. Perry Meyer and I'm a diabetic foot and wound specialist here in Hamilton, Ontario. We treat diabetes from a foot perspective and diabetic foot disease is just one of many manifestations of the complications of diabetes, but it is a devastating one and one that probably can be prevented in the vast majority of cases provided patients are doing the right things uh, every day. And some of those preventative measures are never going barefoot in the house or out, looking at your feet every day and moisturizing every day. And let me explain a little bit more about why those things are very, very important. In diabetes, the high sugars causes damage to the nerves of your feet. And because of that, they become numb and you can't feel the things that uh, people without diabetes or the nerve damage, neuropathy, can feel. Those things being pieces of glass, stones, uh, sharp tacks, anything that you might pick up on the floor that you wouldn't feel. These people uh, with nerve damage or neuropathy can walk around with a piece of glass in their foot, for instance, for weeks on end without really having any notion that it's there until it becomes grossly infected and an ulcer develops and they're in big trouble. So in order to prevent that, they have to wear something on their feet all the time, never ever trusting their intuition that their feet are okay, but actually protecting them on a daily basis. So wearing shoes, slippers inside, shoes outside, will prevent a va the vast majority of problems in a diabetic patient. Another reason for wearing proper footwear is that poorly fitting shoes are not sensed by these people with nerve damage. So you wearing the shoe that is too tight will eventually cause a blister or a callus that you can't feel and that will wear through right down into through the foot and develop a very serious ulcer and cause you considerable uh, debility and possible amputation. So the next thing is to moisturize your feet every day and moisturizing keeps your skin supple. Supple skin is less likely to crack or break and for that simple reason you are preventing the possibility of uh, an ulcer from developing and a possible amputation. Uh, supple skin is also more resilient and so it has a, a better tensile strength and therefore is able to resist friction better than dry skin can. And finally, you need to look at your feet every day. And looking at your feet every day connects your brain to your feet. So if you have neuropathy, your brain is no longer connected to your feet and it doesn't sense what is going on on the bottom of your feet. So by looking at your feet every day and feeling your feet, you will reconnect with your feet, so to speak, and understand what's going on with them. It is really, really important for people to understand that they can't take their feet for granted if they have diabetic neuropathy. The assumption that everything is well because it feels good or it feels normal um, is lost in people with diabetes and neuropathy. That is not the case. You have to visualize and make sure that you actually look at the bottom of your feet to ensure that nothing is there. And what are you looking for? You're looking for cuts, cracks, discoloration, blisters. Blisters are extremely important because they're the, the beginnings of an ulcer. And, if, um, and obviously open sores. And if you see any of those things, we tell all of our patients that, that to treat that as an emergency. And the first thing that you must do if you see any of those things is to get off your feet. In other words, offload. Offloading is vitally important in stopping the process of erosion uh, of these pressure sores that are not sensed. And then contact your physician. Those three steps we hammer home on every single appointment as the critical elements in the prevent prevention of diabetic foot disease and the evolution of diabetic ulcers. 
Those simple things can prevent 85% of diabetic foot problems. Now, how often should you be seen by uh, uh, a specialist or your physician? Certainly, as a diabetic, you should be seeing your family physician every three months. But to, with regards to your feet, it all depends on what your risk factors are. And if you are a low-risk patient, then um, without any neuropathy, without any deformities, and pretty good sensation, you need to be seen once a year by your family physician. As nerve damage emerges, calluses develop, thicken nails, you become higher risk. And therefore, as the risk rises, you need to be seen more frequently to have your uh, feet checked by someone, a clinician that is uh, trained in examining and treating the diabetic foot. And it ranges from uh, every uh, six months to three to two to one month to every week if you're a very high risk patient. And those um, risk categorizations um, will be determined by a diabetic foot specialist. So the bottom line is, is that as a diabetic, you need to reconnect with your feet and understand that diabetic foot disease is a tremendous problem in, in patients with diabetes and gets very little attention. It seems to be that when you go into your family physician's office, that's the last thing that they want to look at. But really what you should be doing with every single uh, visit that you go to your uh, family physician for, whether it be for your diabetes or not, Prior to them coming into the room, you should take off your shoes and socks or knock your socks off. And by doing that, you will be drawing your feet to their attention and having the physician quickly look. It takes no more than 30 seconds to quickly examine the feet and you're out the door. And that can be the last thing that happens in the, in the visit. So I hope that this information has been helpful to you. Remember... Never go without shoes inside or out of the house. Moisturize your feet every day and look at your feet every day.